Hi, this is David Justice and just wanted to shoot a very short over-the-shoulder uh, tutorial on setting up your direct uh, publishing account with Kindle. So this is um, a simple way to do it. You go to K for Kindle, D for Direct, and P for Publishing. So kdp.amazon.com and uh, either as a returning user, they may ask, you may already have an account if you don't. Um, you can set up a new one so once you do that they're going to ask for your email address or phone number you know your email address is fine then you set up your uh, you establish your uh, password and then it will you click on that and as a new user and it will take you to this now uh, if you have a current account with Kindle uh, or with Amazon you can use you can actually go in and do that I won't show that today this is a just a direct new account set up right so here we go. So here's your full name. What country are you in? You select. You know, we'll just say we're in the UK. Of course, you know, I'm not an I'm, I'm not I'm not a Brit. So now let's just say with America, we go there, and then we'll do um, uh, seven seven two two five. Um, you know, Manhattan Avenue. Don't even think there is one. But anyway. So, uh, just just for example, so we do New York, right, and then, and then go down here, and then we'll do New York. So whatever your, um, I like the York, uh, different spelling, obviously. Yeah, that was supposed to be a joke. Anyway. So like one zero zero. So obviously you put in your zip code and your number. And then as you see, this says uh, incomplete information, complete tax information. Amazon re is required by the US tax regulation to uh, request information regarding your tax status under the law, under the US law. So what's required is your uh, tax identification number, which would be like your uh, social security number, or, um, perhaps you have a business and you want to put this under your business, then your uh, EIN, which is your employment identification number that is uh, uh, that comes with your, once you register your company uh, in your state, city, or county, whatever it is. And so uh, then that will be um, used in, in place of your social security number. Right, so here are your royalty payments, whether it's electronic EFT, which is called an electronic fund transfer. Uh, that's the acronym for electronic funds transfer or wire payments. Again, just to repeat, you add your bank account. How do you want your, do you want it paid by check or whatever? So let me just, let me just quickly open that up and show you. So, you know, what, where is it? United States, wherever it is, you click OK. Uh, and then they will ask you for, as you see, they will ask you for your, your bank information. Here we go, so we do you want the EFT, which is the electronic funds transfer? Do you want it by check? So this is basically similar to wire, but the wire would be more um, uh, out of country. So that would be wired out of country. Maybe you might uh, get uh, something through um, uh, Western Union or something like that as a, as a, uh, as a, as a as example, as an example. And I don't know for sure that that is an option, but d this is kind of out of country. EFT is electronic uh, funds transfer or by check in the U.S. So you check whichever one you want. And then of course, you know, what funds, you know, it's already uh, associated with the um, U.S. dollar, right? So let's just kind of move forward here and let's go ahead and complete the tax information. So uh, I'm just going to save changes and continue. All right. <clears throat> so, in fact, it has saved what I had previously put in. Uh, please fix the errors and so on and so forth. Um, right. So, got your name, whatever your name is, uh, wherever you are. I see Manhattan Avenue. Da 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 da. Um, that is a valid. That is a valid. Uh, code for New York so oh, oh they're asking for the abbreviation rather than the full so you see how easy this is this is really simple it's uh, very straightforward yep 
just kind of you know read read the instructions and so forth like that. So complete the tax information. So it's saying that's incomplete. So we've got all these other things set up here, but this is a simple thing. So you you finish that up and you just complete your tax information. Save the changes. Continue. Go back to your account. Whatever. So this is going to be just a real brief tutorial. So I'm going to discard these and, and continue. So I hope this helps, and I hope you guys have a great day. Again, this is David Justice, and I am making this available through our syndicated press release account. I hope you have a great one. Thanks. Bye. Hey everyone, this is Greg with Info USA One. I wanted to quickly answer this very frequent question about Amazon Kindle books. Now please keep in mind that unlike many videos on YouTube, this was not intended to be entertainment. I only wanted to provide this information for you. And if I was able to do that, then please like this video. And I want to assure you that there really are people just like you all over the world who are earning extra money each month by creating simple Kindle ebooks. If you have ever been curious about making money online, many marketing experts agree that Kindle publishing is one of the easiest ways to do it. Some people are making a couple of hundred dollars each month. Other people are earning much more. So the real question is, why can't this be you? And it can. You can sign up to start receiving our Kindle publishing tips. It is 100% free information and free tips for beginners. If you're watching this on YouTube, the link is right below this video. If you are on our webpage, just scroll further down the page. Click the link to visit this page that you see right here. You're going to view a short video to help you get started. Thank you for watching and take care.